Hi everyone, it's me, Spring, the Fiber Enthusiast, and welcome to the channel. Today is Saturday podcast, and the podcast is just going over what I've been up to, you know, this past week, and um, a quick reminder of any important things that are going on, like our crochet along, wishing on dandelions. If you have finished parts one and two, um, and are ready to start part three. Well, guess what? It comes out to, uh, not tomorrow. It comes out Monday. It'll come out on Sunday. Anyway, um, wishing on dandelion shawl. If you have not seen it and you are new here and you want to jump on board, by all means, go to the playlist and it will be at the end of this video up in the corner. Um, you can go to the playlist and I highly, highly, highly suggest starting at the intro video. That's going to give you all of the tools and necessities that you will need, um, and let you know what you need to do as far as sizes and all of that good stuff. Cause it's done in three different sizes, um, weights of yarn and hook size and all of that. So definitely um, start at the intro video and work your way through. Those of you that have made it through part two, I would love to see an updated picture. <laughs> all right. So that is the big uh, bulletin uh, news that we needed to go over was the fact that we still have the crochet along going on and I have started designing. Am I ever not designing? I think I, I think my brain is always designing something. Whether it actually makes it through my hands and into yarn is another story, but I'm always, always designing in my head. It's like, ooh, that would be cool. But um, I am designing right now. Um, I started to design a V-shaped knitted uh, shawl, lightweight lacy shawl. And I think I've decided not to do the V-shape and go with something a little different. So, I am designing a shawl or wrap or cover up or something, something for a knit along for the summer, something lightweight, lacy, and um, can just like dress up a tank top or something like that, maybe. So, um, that's upcoming. There's no set dates or times. It's just it's in the process. There is pen to paper and it is in progress, but there's no actual, hey, next month we are. At any rate, that being said, um, that's the big news. There's some videos that are coming out next week next week. I think it is. Um, we have a cake cozy. tutorial coming up. Um, as I go through this uh, video here, I will be inserting pictures when I mention something that I have a picture of to add. But um, we have a very, very, very super basic you can do anything in the world with it <laughs> if you want to. You can change the size, yarn, the knit knitting needles, everything, um, and style. How tall, how short, how many stitches, all kinds of stuff. This is the absolute, just as basic as basic can get, cake cozy, knitted in magic loop style. Um, that is coming out next week. Uh, I kind of put a rush on it. I had a request for it, so I put a rush on getting it done and moved some videos around to put it up next week. Um, also, the part three, the last part of Wishing on Dandelions is on Monday, and I can't wait to see y'all's uh, finished projects. If uh, you would like to send pictures of your projects to me, you can either do that in the Facebook group, or you can do it on Instagram by tagging me in it, or you can email them to me. However you want to, that's completely and entirely up to you. All right. Wow, that was a lot. Okay. 
other news <laughs> this week um i just put out a short if you haven't seen it um on blending fiber i haven't done one in a long time and i haven't done shorts in a long time and i thought you know i better do some and i've been blending a lot of fiber for the things that I've been doing, the spinning that I've been doing over the past few days. So yesterday I had blended a whole bunch of fiber and used it all. And then I started blending a bunch more today. And I thought, you know, just make a short already. So I did, I made a short. And if you want to see what it looked like when it was being done, in really fast motion. Um, <laughs> you can check out that short if you haven't seen it. Um, but here is that particular one that I did the video on because I just finished it. Um, this one here, I still need to pull off and turn into Rolex, but this is what you were seeing in that uh, video. Um, or no, that's the next one because I did get the Rolex done in the video. Scratch that. <laughs> So here are the roll eggs. Um, the basket is full. It will be overfloweth, but that's okay. I got a bunch more that I need to do. That's just the start of it. Um, oh, I needed to get the wool off of, I say my old lady, and if you don't know, it's my over 200 year old flex spinning wheel that is a family heirloom that's right there um i needed to get the wool that i had on there finished being spun and off and i did do that here's her bobbin from that and while i had that off i decided that i would go ahead and give both of my manual spinning wheels a fresh coat of oil so i oiled them both down really good they desperately needed it um after the winter it was pretty dry um they were pretty dry so i went ahead and oiled them down and now i can actually get back to spinning on there soon so we're going to skip a little bit here and come back to spinning um i finished the pair of ankle socks that I needed to finish um, for the last, well, there was three that needed to be, three socks that needed to be made. This is the second pair is finished. The third pair, I believe I will be waiting on some custom sock yarn from the person to make those socks. I think as per request as of last night. It might change, I don't know, but right now I'm waiting on custom yarn to make her a, another pair. All right, now we'll jump back into spinning. <laughs> All of the roll eggs that I made yesterday I spun between late last night and this morning and then plied them together this morning. Mind you, this is Friday for me. It is Saturday for you. Here is 197 plus a little bit of uh, wool and Stellina. There is about 5% Stellina in it. The rest is wool. And it gets to go take a bath now and soak and set the twist. It may be a little bit less than the 197 once it blooms, which means the fiber puffs back up. Um, it Once it does that, it may shrink just a little bit, um, but it wouldn't be much. So we'll see. We'll rerun it back through. I have several um, hanks that I have spun that need to go through uh, soak. So I try to do it all 
you know, not all at the same time, but quite a bit at once. Um, with the exception of the ones that might bleed uh, some color into something that has white in it, for instance. Um, I wouldn't want to put green or pink or anything like that in with this um, because there's a chance that that dye could take over some of the lighter color. And I want that light color. That's why I'm doing it this way, right? Okay. <laughs> so with that being said, I had a little bit left that I spun. Um, I probably will just chain ply this or I will ball it up and uh, two ply it from both ends. We'll see. I don't know. It's just sitting in there for now. The other thing that I did is I had one of those bobbins like that, one of these two ounce bobbins full of uh, wool from Paradise Fiber. And I knew I needed to finish up another bobbin in order to ply it together. I did that and plied it together today as well. So I filled a two ounce bobbin and then plied them together. So all of the plying was done today and a little bit of other spinning was done today. So that is it for my news for today. Um, if you would like to join us on the live spin and chat, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Thursday nights, you are more than welcome to. If you're shy and you don't want to say hi, that's okay. But we don't bite, I promise. You can say hi in the chat and let everybody know you're there and then go back to working on your project and hanging out. Um, a lot of people do that. I do that a lot of times when I go to other people's lives. Um, I comment and say hi, but most of the time I'm running around uh, working here on the farm. Uh, or I am doing something else. But I try to, if I hear somebody say something, uh, I'll try to respond. But um, when I'm having my live, you're more than welcome to come over, hang out, say hello, join in the chat if you want. If not, that's okay. Um, let's see. Oh, there will be a slideshow at the end of this video. I have fiber on my face from all of that. <laughs> uh, there will be a slideshow at the end of this video. That slideshow is from those that have submitted pictures to be shared on a slideshow. Um, they do that via email, uh, Instagram, by tagging me in it and giving me the information and letting me know it's okay to use it. Or in the Facebook group on Thursday mornings, I post a post that is asking if anybody wants to share their whips, their foes, any of that. Um, just comment down below with a brief description, your YouTube name, so that way I can tag you in it and you can see. And um, also, uh, just, yeah, a brief description. Mm, that's it. That's it. That's all. All said, all done. <laughs> all right, everybody. I want to thank each and every one of you for coming and watching my videos and coming and hanging out with us on Thursdays, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays, straight up tutorials, crochet alongs, knit alongs, tat alongs, uh, Tunisian crochet, uh, knitting, crocheting. I think I got them all. Did I get them all? You tell me. I think I did. Could be anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, get ready for that slideshow. Be blessed, be a blessing, and until next video, bye for now, everyone.